What's up? Welcome back to the Focus Right Scarlet video series that I'm doing. My name is Matthew Stratton with MatthewCrane.com, and I just want to go over this series with you. So in the previous couple videos, we went ahead and installed the Scarlet 2i2. We set it up as our Windows sound card, our sound device. And in this video, I'm going to go over choosing, you know, what software you want to use. Now, the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 comes with a version of Ableton Live, which is Ableton Live Lite. All right, that is the software that I'm going to be showing you how to install today. So go ahead and stay tuned and check it out. So I'm going to explain this now. If you've been following along, you could simply go through the process where you left off and then I'll start from there in a minute. But if you haven't been following along with my series, you need to find your Ableton Live Lite code so you can go ahead and register Ableton Live Lite. Now, in order to find that, you will have to sign in. So make sure you have already registered your account, all right, and registered your Scarlet 2i2 to your account and log into your account right there. Now, it'll say, you know, welcome your name. And then if you look here, it says looking for your software bundle. If you click that, it's going to take you to your software activation codes. And I would say go ahead and pick the software you want, install it. But Ableton Live Lite 10 is right here. So you do need to register a free Ableton account. And then when you do that, you can register your code and your authorization code is going to be under here. So it says get Ableton Live Lite. When you click that, it's going to give you a code that you're going to need to copy and paste into your Ableton account. So if you go and log into your Ableton account, you after you create it, you see right here, it says register a product. So that's how you would do that. Let's go ahead and continue the video where we left off in the series. So if you look at my computer screen here, we're on step two of the installation process. So you can pick right here, if you already have your DAW that you want, and DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation, also known as a DAW. It is common to be said as DAW or Digital Audio Workstation. Now, right here, it says if you already have one, you can select this. If you do want to use Ableton Live Lite that comes with it, click here. If you want to use Pro Tools first, you would click here. And then, you know, if you don't want to use a doll, just go ahead and click there. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up Ableton Live Lite. It says it's going to take five to 10 minutes to set up. And most of that's going to be the actual install of the software into your computer. So I'm going to click that and then click next. And then if you look right here, it says, take me to my software. Go ahead and click that. Now, if you look on this page, we get the option to go ahead and download all the software that does come with our Scarlet 2i2. There's a bunch of stuff that you can go ahead and download. I'm only going to show you how to do Ableton Live Lite. Otherwise, this video would be, you know, really long. But you can go ahead and download each one of these things. And I do recommend downloading what you want to. You never know what might work for you. And then you got your Focusrite drum tracks. Definitely go ahead and download these because I am going to try to use these in a song later. And you could follow along if you download those. Download your uh, red plugins for sure. And then, you know, soft tube. You could, I mean, there's no reason why you wouldn't download this as well. And then you get an addictive keys as well. So I would recommend downloading pretty much all of this stuff. But today I'm just going to show you how to get Ableton Live Lite. Now, if you click this, it's going to show you some things. Now, you're going to be able to get your own redeem code. So don't go around stealing mine. Get your redeem code. Now, what you got to do is actually click that redeem code. Whenever you click that redeem code, it's going to take you to the Ableton.com website. When you get to this website, you're going to get the option to download Live 10 Lite. I recommend downloading that. Now, this is 1.9 gigabytes, so it is going to take a little bit of time to download depending on your internet connection. So once Ableton Live Lite is done downloading, make sure you find it inside of your downloads folder. And in my case, I'm going to bring it onto the desktop. So right here in my downloads folder, I do have Ableton Live Lite 10. So I'm going to bring that to my desktop. All right, I'm gonna put it right there next to my MPC Beats. I'm gonna move MPC Beats down here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and right click that, and then I'm going to click Extract All. And I'm gonna show Extract Files when complete. So now that that is extracted, go ahead and open the setup. All right, so once you go ahead and click the setup icon, go ahead and click Next. 
Now you do need to read through this in user license agreement. So go ahead and read through that. If you agree to it, go ahead and accept the terms, push next. Then you need to select where you actually want to install this at. So there you go. This is where the default location is and you can change it there if you do want to. So I'm going to go ahead and push next. So after you go through that process, go ahead and press install. And then it says installing Ableton Live 10 Lite. So it's gonna take a little while to install and once it's done, you'll actually have to activate Ableton Live Lite. So once it's finished going through the install process, you can leave this checked. It says launch Ableton Live 10 Lite, press finish. All right, so once that's launched, you can go ahead and close out of that. So here it is, Ableton Live 10 Lite. All right, so if you have not activated your Ableton Live 10 Lite, what you're going to need to do is activate it. And whenever you do open it up for the first time, it's going to ask you to activate it. But you also get another option to go into demo mode for 30 days, so you can do demo mode as well. But if you look here, say you went into demo mode and you went away from it, if you go to preferences, okay, so you go to options and then you go to preferences and then right here, all right, down here, it says license maintenance. So what you need to do is authorize at ableton.com. It really pretty much takes you through the steps, but you do need to register an account if you haven't already. Very easy to register there. I'm just going to go ahead and log into the one I have registered Now, when you do that, if you look right here, it says Ableton Live 10 Lite. All right, it says you want, it wants to open Live 10 Lite, so you can open it. But it's already open here, right? And then once you are successfully uh, registered it, it says you have successfully authorized. Now, I already had it authorized on here, so you're going to actually have to register your code. So if you look here, right there, it says register a product. You can see it says licenses. You can go here, go to register a product. And then what you do is you take your code. So right here where it says my software, you're gonna see Ableton Live Lite. You would click right here, if it says get Ableton Live Lite. You would go ahead and select that code, right click, push copy, come over here to register your product. You would click in here and just paste that code in there and then click submit. Now when you do that, what you'll do see what you will see after that is you will see that you have authorized it so i can see right here i do have ableton 10 live light already authorized and it's already been authorized on a computer that's why it was so simple to do but if it wasn't authorized you would have to go through that process of um you know registering your your ableton and um, putting the code in now there's another way to do it if you don't have internet on your computer that you're working on you would authorize offline now if you get lost I will leave this link in the description here. It's gonna tell you how to authorize Ableton Live Lite online. And this way you could go ahead and just authorize it, okay? The easiest way again is to authorize with ableton.com. So that concludes this video. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually assign your Focusrite Scarlet into Ableton Live Lite. This way you can go ahead and start plugging instruments and microphones into your audio interface and start recording into Ableton Live Lite. If you miss any videos in the series or if you want to catch up on the next videos, go ahead, click or tap the screen over here. It's going to take you to the playlist for this video series. It's all about just setting up your Scarlet interface with a Windows PC computer. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music. We'll talk soon.